Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 110 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this weapon is for Dong Zhuo, suggested by YouTube user Frederick Ertz, and to get his weapon you have to go to Lu Bu's revolt Dong Zhuo's forces. And for this you might as well just take bodyguards, because technically you have to make sure that everybody is defeated except for Lu Bu. Save him for last, of course. I'm gonna give him this a tower because it looks so gaudy. Alright, so we can pretty much take the Much Games crew or any other bodyguards that you so choose. And if they defeat bodyguards or defeat officers or your officers defeat their officers, that's okay. You will not be disqualified. All you need to do is defeat everybody before Lu Bu is all by himself. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. Of course, there's still the matter of fighting your way through everyone. So good luck with that! Miserable rodents! First, cut off their escape route! Alright, that's the game plan. We'll do that first. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. Oh yeah, I might as well set my guys to attack mode. I cannot fight. But you probably will. Okay, Dong Zhuo's like fourth charge is like a pretty sick stab. Almost like the samurai sword. And it works. It gives him a nice bit of pushback. But like his third charge, like the multiple attack at uh, multiple attacks. Like sometimes depending on where you're standing, you might miss them. So it's not very reliable. Damn it. This doesn't look good. Oh, suck it up, Buttercup. You don't hear me whining. Like, definitely our officers will be struggling a lot, because it's a pretty high difficulty map. Eh, might as well just snag an item. Uh, can you guys do me a favor and attack someone? Alright, let's go. Alright, Zhang Liao should be nearby as well. And I might as well just seal a stronghold. No, it will not. Well, you can try. There, stronghold is sealed. And Dong Zhuo's Muso leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, yeah, it causes an earthquake effect whenever it makes contact nearby. However, it just looks so weird and so stupid. It can easily be countered. You just move out of the way. It has a slow reaction time. Anyone can just move and there you go. Like, seriously, there's just nothing intimidating about it. But I'll admit, he's not a very slow character. For somebody that looks so fat, he can move around. So he's got that going for him. And he's got a nice bit of attack power. Not to mention his first charge is a grab, so if anybody tries to block it, it'll be countered. Well, the block will be countered. Oh, got him in the corner. Everybody get him! Aw, you waited for me to get the finishing blow. How nice, bodyguards. That's what you get for obeying a prefect. Let us fight bravely as well. Okay, there's still some more troops around here, like another stronghold. So once I clear that out, I won't have to worry about any new forces coming in. Oh, the Chan got beaten. Nice cutting him off, guys. Why did you hit her? No, didn't you just see the ticker? It said you killed him. Or maybe your soldiers did, but they were under your responsibility. So this is not my fault. That's like blaming McDonald's for you being fat. But you were the one stuffing your face. I cannot picture Lu Bu stuffing his face at all. Drinking a lot of wine, yes, because that's probably one of the things that got him killed. 
like he would always drink. But stuffing his face with fatty foods, no. I mean, back in like the uh, late second or third century, cooking was a little bit better back then. Like, less additives. More people getting killed, though, but less additives. Like, you didn't have to blame the GMOs for that. You just had to blame war. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Okay, we've practically taken out a lot of the soldiers around here. And I don't think there's going to be any ambushes. As far as I know. Oh, another item in here. Hopefully something that'll be an upgrade. Okay, before I deal with Lu Bu, I might as well grab the uh, Muso wine in here. Because Dong Zhou needed it. Okay, there's another officer, uh, Chen Gong, yeah. Uh, Li Jue and Li Ru are in a bit of trouble, unfortunately. But they're not my problem. I mean, I won't lose if they're destroyed. Um, you're on your own, Li Jue, okay? Yeah, it's amazing. You're still alive, Go Su. But I'll make sure Chen Gong's not. Good. Okay, there goes Lu Bu, strategist. We must not fall behind. But you are falling behind! You were struggling earlier! I'll grab some more health for myself and my bodyguards. Where are they, anyway? Oh, they're over there. Probably dealing with Lu Bu's immediate forces. Let's take out the archers. This one's a bit of a fun level 10 weapon to get, because all you have to do is destroy everyone. It's kind of like Lu Bu's, to be honest with you. And that's the exact same map! Only opposing forces. There we go. That's teamwork. Alright, there's so few left. Oh, good, Lee Jue got attack power up. So go kill me a soldier for me, will ya? Or are you just gonna stand there and watch them? You know, like typical AI soldiers do. Remember, leave Lu Bu alone for now. You can soften him up, but don't kill him. Just a few more, and they're all in this room, pretty much. Unless Lu Bu has a couple personal bodyguards. Speaking of which, what the hell are you doing in there? Were you, like, literally stuck in a corner? Like, I just had to free you by breaking this box. Oh, thank you, Tong Zhuo, for saving me from this infernal box prison. I was waiting for Crash Bandicoot, but okay, you'll have to do. Oh my god, that was the weirdest thing I ever saw. Like, why was a random soldier just hanging around in the box? From now on, I shall walk the path. Okay, horror has been unlocked. Which is ironic, because that's what we have to defeat. We have to defeat a literal horror. Alright, everybody gang up on him. Show him no mercy. I mean, I got my bodyguards. Li Jui, Li Ru. Who's saying this does not bode well? You have the advantage! Okay, just suck it up, buttercup. I'm your Dong Zhou's brother-in-law. You gotta show some actual moxie. This does not look good. Oh, that grab did not work. That's it. Everybody just gang up on him. Everybody scatter! Like, Lubu's dead, let's go home. Alright, his level 9, or well, level 7 to 9 weapon looks badass with the serrated blades. Let's see how much different horror looks. 
I'm dying to know. Oh, good rank two. Ooh, it looks shinier. And it has like a golden handle. I like that. So I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next episode, once again, we get another weapon. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.